They may be members of the most powerful families in the world, but the royal kids are still just kids. And being a kid means goofing off, breaking the rules, and throwing tantrums. These are the royal kids' brattiest moments. Good luck. I hope you win. Bye. Number one, the Queen's funeral. Prince George and Princess Charlotte behaved beautifully at the Queen's recent funeral. But at age seven and nine, they're not going to be perfect. George appeared to have pinched his younger sister while the two took part in the procession at Wellington Arch. The princess seemed to say, ow! And while Meghan Markle smiled at her niece, Queen Consort Camilla was far less amused. It looked like she told Kate Middleton, take her. At another point in the funeral, Princess Charlotte was filmed telling her older brother to bow. You can hardly call these bratty moments, especially since their Gam Gam's funeral was probably extremely difficult for them. But kids will be kids. Number 2. Prince Louis at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee In June 2022, the royal family celebrated Queen Elizabeth's 70 years on the throne with a Platinum Jubilee, but it was four-year-old Prince Louis who stole the show. His hijinks began at the Trooping of the Color. He stood on the balcony with family and goofed off. He covered his ears with his hands during the noisy fly past, made funny faces, and tried to suck his thumb. Mom Kate Middleton did her best to control her youngest son, but Louis wasn't done yet. Three days later, he attended the Platinum Jubilee pageant parade and threw a tantrum. When Kate scolded him, he covered her mouth with his hands, made rude faces and gestures, and pouted. Kate knew all eyes were on her, so she managed to keep her composure. Eventually, Louis managed to channel all that wild energy into grooving to the music. Number 3. The 2018 Trooping of the Color Louis isn't the first royal kid to misbehave at the Trooping of the Color. His older brother, Prince George, also stole the spotlight at the same event four years before. At one point in the 2018 ceremony, George, then four years old, began to giggle. Enter his cousin, Savannah Phillips. Savannah is Princess Anne's granddaughter. Cameras caught the seven-year-old putting her hand over her younger cousin's mouth and shushing him to be quiet. Who cares if George is the future king? She was the queen's oldest granddaughter, which means she's in charge. A picture caught Prince William frowning at the two kids misbehaving. George and Savannah weren't the only kids who had some trouble during that balcony appearance that day. At one point, George's little sister, Charlotte, appeared to slip and fall. Mom Kate was there to pick her right back up and give her a loving hug before placing her down to enjoy the rest of the celebrations. Number 4. Princess Charlotte's Tantrum Sometimes, there's no avoiding it. Kids have tantrums especially when they're tired. Back when she was two years old, Princess Charlotte was spotted having a classic toddler meltdown at the end of a royal tour through Germany and Poland. The family was almost ready to leave and were being shown some helicopters in Hamburg. The host of their tour gave them a booklet and Charlotte was determined to keep it. When Kate took the booklet away, Charlotte stamped her feet, threw herself on the ground and pouted before being scooped up by her mom. Yep, time to go home. Number five. Prince George gets a scolding. Royal weddings are a very big deal. The pressures and the cameras are on. When Kate's sister, Pippa Middleton, got married in 2017, Prince George was chosen to serve as a page boy at the ceremony. He successfully completed his duties, but couldn't help but play around with the back of his aunt's dress as she exited the church. Kate immediately put a stop to George's mischief and dragged him away from her sister. She was photographed giving the future king a very stern talking to. Hey, at least he looked cute. Number 6. Princess Charlotte Sticks Out Her Tongue Princess Charlotte has also been caught misbehaving at very important weddings. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry got married in 2018, Charlotte couldn't help herself. She stuck out her tongue while arriving at the event in a car. Luckily, Charlotte was on her best behavior the rest of the day and, by all accounts, was a very successful flower girl. However, the very next year, the princess was spotted pulling a similar move. The little princess was at the King's Cup regatta when she and her mom waved to onlookers. But Charlotte had other ideas. She peered out from the window and stuck her tongue out at the crowd. Not even Kate could contain her laughter. Number 7. Grumpy Grace the Flower Girl Speaking of misbehaving flower girls, let's not forget about the original grumpy wedding guest, Little Grace Van Custom. Grace isn't technically a royal, but she is Prince William's goddaughter. Right after Kate and William said, I do, back in 2011, the entire family and wedding party went out to the balcony to wave to the crowd. The pictures were totally memorable, but probably not for the reason the royals were hoping for. 
Three-year-old Grace wasn't in the mood to smile, and the noise from the crowd was too much for her tiny ears. She frowned, covered her ears, and pouted. Grace went viral on social media and became a very funny footnote in royal history. Number 8. Mia and Lena Tyndall Fight The two little girls were the Queen's great-grandkids, and at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee pageant, they couldn't help but get in a sibling's back. A reminder that this is the same parade where Prince Louis had his tantrum. As three-year-old Lena sat on her dad's lap, she was filmed reaching over to eight-year-old Mia and hitting her. Mia hit Lena right back before pulling hard on her little sister's arm. Their father was in no mood and he immediately scolded Mia. Number 9. Princess Leonor's Church Meltdown The British royal kids aren't the only ones who can get into trouble. Princess Leonor, daughter of Swedish Princess Madeline, was so bored at her younger sister's christening, she literally threw herself down on the floor of the church. The four-year-old kicked off her shoes, rolled around on the ground, and kicked her little legs in the air. Her father seemed unsure of what to do, and her mom, busy holding baby Adrian, had to settle for throwing the misbehaving princess a stern look. Number 10. Prince Fair Magnus Goofs Off then, there's Prince Fair Magnus of Norway. Back in 2017, the 11-year-old prince appeared on the royal palace balcony to wave at well-wishers, celebrating the king and queen's 80th birthday. Now, in case you forgot, kids loved dabbing in 2017. And young royals were no exception. He interrupted this very formal affair with a dab. His older cousin, Leah Isadora Ben, seemed annoyed, but then, a little later, she attempted her own little dab. Must have been a dare. 11. Crying Prince Christian Being a royal kid means having to pose for a lot of very serious photos. And for babies, sitting still and following rules isn't exactly easy. Prince Christian of Denmark is now in his teens, but back when he was a toddler, he made it very clear that he had no interest in posing with his dad, Crown Prince Frederick. The young prince burst into tears in front of the cameras. That certainly made for some memorable photos. Number 12. Is Prince George Spoiled? A lot of this royal mischief can be attributed to classic childhood misbehavior. But people will always wonder, with so much money, privilege, and celebrity, will the royal children turn into spoiled brats? Back in 2016, reports came out that Prince George, then three years old, was growing up to be a royal terror. According to sources at Buckingham Palace, told The Globe and Mail that George slams doors, he takes things from fellow children and adults alike. Honestly, he's a nightmare. He makes so much mess. It's chaos. Typical toddler tantrums or spoiled behavior from the future king? Only time will tell. No matter how powerful their parents are, kids will be kids. Do you think the royal kids are bratty? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Thing's Celebrity for more on your favorite celebs.